What could you create if you had 30 minutes to plan and four hours to build? Today on the show, we're challenging four devs to build apps that connect retail experiences with the broader world around them using Intuit MailChimp. And we're gonna power it all with these Black Spades playing cards. How's it going? Good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we're being cursed by internet today. Hey, y'all, y'all. Welcome to the Web Dev Challenge. I'm super excited to be doing this. This is gonna be a great show. This one is a little bit special. We're on location here in Houston. We are working with the Render ATL crew. We're working with Intuit. We're working with uh, Black Spades, who we'll hear from Mackie, the founder, here in a minute. Your challenge today is to come up with a way to connect the different apps that you might see in a, a standard company portfolio. So we've got an e-commerce site, that's the Black Spade store, right? Now, there might be other apps out there. Maybe there is a, uh, a game that you can play. Maybe there's an in-person event. Maybe there's something else going on where we wanna provide some incentives. Your job today is to come up with what that might be and then hook those incentives up. And to do that, you're gonna be using the MailChimp API. And to explain a little bit about how that MailChimp API works, we got Jordan. My name is Jordan Morris. Uh, I'm actually based in Atlanta. I'm a senior software engineer there at MailChimp. And MailChimp is an application that gives customers the ability to create email and SMS campaigns and use those campaigns to convert into revenue. So the bread and butter of MailChimp is the audience. Every single campaign is gonna stem from an audience. And once you create your audience, that's how you manage your SMS, your email campaigns, your email forms, all of that. What we're gonna focus on today is a members API. Now, the members API are essentially your contacts. So every audience has members, and this is how you manage essentially, you know, the users kind of interacting with your campaign. These members, also might have a couple useful tools that I'm not gonna get into everything, but what you might wanna be interested in are tags, which are essentially kind of like custom filter fields to manage your marketing campaign, as well as merge tags. And these merge tags are custom fields on the contact or member entity itself. So whether or not, you know, let's say you're coming from Salesforce or some other application that has a field that you need in the MailChimp, then you're gonna to wanna to use your merge tags. And that is the gist of everything that you really need to know. But yeah, I think y'all got this. All right, so my name is Mackie. I'm the founder and creator of Black Spades. Black Spades is a lifestyle brand that um, sells apparel and electronics, but we're most known for playing cards that are designed for spades. So spades is a very, very big thing in the black community. And what we did when we designed the decks was we designed them in a way that helps people learn how to play. So I wanted to make sure that y'all were like a part of the family, so I brought decks for everybody too. So this is one of our limited edition decks. Right. Thank you. Give you some inspiration. We've got one for you too. Oh, hell yeah. You're gonna have 30 minutes to plan and four hours to build, and your 30 minutes is gonna start as soon as I figure out how to program this time. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all gonna yeah. build a game? I was going to. Well, at first I was just gonna build, let's just play Spades. I was like, that's yeah. real time. That's like a lot of shit I don't wanna do. So like, sorry, can I say shit? I don't know, we can bleep it out later. Uh, <laughs> Not my show. Hey, I'm Robbie Wagner. I'm a front end developer at Amazon. So I'm gonna be building a thing where you can unlock special cards. And the idea is you have a special limited edition deck or something that you could unlock. I'm working uh, with Ember.js and doing some Netlify functions to do API calls. Uh, I am super not confident about getting things done in four hours, uh, but I have taken my scope way far down, so I think it should go okay. Uh, it's something that will do something, for sure. This is great. I feel like a real software engineer again. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so I'm Anthony D. Mays. I've been a software engineer for 23 years and excited to jump into this. I think I'm gonna get wild. Like obviously I need to implement basically spades that I'm gonna make folks play. You will get a discount based upon like how many tricks you win. Uh, for me, the biggest challenge is gonna be scope uh, and just managing that and making sure that I'm not implementing too much of the actual game. Uh, we're doing React and uh, yeah, just React on Next.js. 
and we're gonna see how that works, unless I gotta abandon ship and just go straight to WordPress. Uh, so my name is Jimena Villaferral, uh, and I am a designer and developer. Today, what I'm planning on doing, I was thinking we could do something like a little digital conference badge that has tasks. So just to get people engaged with the brand and the people in person, but then also get those rewards in the back, you know. I'm gonna be using Astro, and then just hook it up to MailChimp, have a form so that they could submit proof and things like that, and kinda hopefully add some interactivity there if I can, we'll see. Black Spades is all about, I took notes. Um, a rite of passage to so black good. community, it thank is. you. Why were you not writing on the Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know as much as you do. <laughs> My name is Bree Hall and I'm a developer advocate at HubSpot. So I'm going to be building an experience that gives you points or different legacy tokens for going out and experiencing black culture, um, black e-commerce, black experiences in your own community. So my tech stack today is gonna to be React and Astro, those are my favorite, with a little bit of Tailwind sprinkled in. I am gonna be using some serverless functions with Vercel, and that's not something that I do very often. So I wanna make sure first that I get the connection with uh, MailChimp all set, and then once I do that, I think it'll be smooth sailing. You well, can't take developers anywhere, man. No, you can't. We will abuse everything. <laughs> He's like, what if I put my entire app code in this contact field? <laughs> this hackathon, not a stress testing event. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me. <laughs> we are putting the hack in hackathon today. Not literally. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Putting the hack all the way in. <laughs> you got three minutes left in your plan. Okay. So, you know, chop chop. I mean, everybody's being ambitious, so I think it's gonna be fun to see how they do, but yeah, they're, they're trying for a lot. From here, we've got four hours to build, and your four hours starts right now. Here we go, y'all. Let's get it, let's get it. I was like, I had a good plan idea, and the moment the timer started, I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know what to do. I, I was all. like, okay, I, I can fumble around with this API stuff for like a good hour, and I'm like, that's a quarter of the time that I, I have know. to build. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to get distracted with design just yet and leave yeah. that for the end, but I need like a plan. It can be pretty so at the end. Can, yeah, exactly. Make it pretty at the end. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look, I've, I've got, I've got cards. Oh, dang. nice. Yeah. All right. Look at that. I don't yet have cards. Whoa. I, I have one flip, card. Bro. Whoa. I did my homework. So All right. Okay. The secret weapon. Okay. You stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. All right. I really like your um, viscode theme. <laughs> like the color gives me. I feel like I need to. Make, bring more color into my Absolutely. development environment because yeah. like I'm just a psycho coding on light mode you know Are I'm you? just kidding I'm oh. totally kidding I'm <laughs> <laughs> you look so horrified honestly you said this code so I was a little bit do people not call it this code he is code I like this code but you wait wait hold up hold up y'all don't come hold for up me. does my man say this code yeah I like this code <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, like oh, look, ahead of me. but like, it's like, okay, you're at VS code, and then you just. You said it right the first time. VS code. VS code. code. You know no. what? When no. I start a VS code, I immediately go to <laughs> GitHub and start <laughs> like. GitHub. And now I'm getting Watch out of here. Run. <laughs> What's going on, Jimena? So, what you, what you, I'm trying to figure out. Working on? I went back to, to, to work on the actual look of the thing right now. Okay. We've got a very basic thing here. Oh. We got the badge, and this Dang. is where you're gonna get, you know, the challenges that you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to build this here for now, because I was fighting with MailChimp a little bit. I was like, I'm gonna wait, because I don't remember how to do certain things, mm -hmm. and I don't do it as often, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do what I know. Okay. And then at least I have something to connect to. Okay, I'm wait. making a component for uh, the badge that then I can bring in. So here's where I'm putting like, oh, here's the logo, the task list are gonna come in nice. here. And yeah. Right now I'm working on some copy just to get, um, 
you know, like some text inside the app, I really get stuck on that in words. So I always just offload that to my, my little AI friends. Right. Work so. smarter, not harder, right? Absolutely. I like that title a lot. I'm going to have like different cards down here to display mm -hmm. the quests that you can do and like mm -hmm. the different things that you can do. So I like that. No, that looks really good. Yes. And the title, Chef's Kiss. Thank you. Culture Quest, yes. Okay, yeah, quest do your culture. thing, do your thing. All right, hey, and when you're ready to, you know, jump in the APS, just, you know where to find me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, Anthony, what's, 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 what you got over here, man? Well, I've got a game. I'm not promising that it's spades. Okay, but it's okay. A game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, so you calibrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, trying to figure it out. So, I've, I've got uh, some logic for like uh, choosing three cards mm -hmm. for the um, for the first three cards of the trick. Okay. And then uh, I've got the logic worked out for playing a card mm -hmm. and determining whether uh, uh, there's a trick winner. The code is getting a little bit long for mm -hmm. my tastes. Okay. Uh, but I'll worry about, about refactoring you, later. You really, yeah, man, cranked it out. I'm just gonna. No, I'll just throw it all in one file. <laughs> if nice. it works, it works. I don't hey, care. There you go. Oh, what do you have a you have a view or where this? Oh, you, a view. you want to see the view, view now? Oh. You okay, hold up, hold up. Hey, y'all, y'all. See that? Ooh. See that? Check, check, check that out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see you. All right, looking good, looking good, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what, what's, what's going on over here? All of these cards are actually represented in MailChimp, so okay. that's cool. Nice. Um, oh, so you figured it out. Yeah, I did four different uh, fields that's for clever. each suit. That's slick. And yeah, so these are all locked right now, and they will be unlocked as you acquire oh. them. Working on the styling, trying to make it look a little better, mm -hmm. and then like the end last thing I definitely need to do is... Uh, make sure that we can do something to like yeah. put in emails and unlock these mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, dude, that looks really yeah. good. Wait, can Thanks. you show me some Ember code? Cause I'm, I'm yeah, just... Yeah. Stuff here, so this is my index route. This is like uh, where I'm getting all the cards from. So I have like wrapping it in a, another uh, API route kind of thing. Okay, but got yeah. your class, your return. I've never yeah. seen JavaScript code that looks like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm so it has a model so hook so. and that's like, you load all your data in that mm -hmm. and Ember, it's like a convention. and mm -hmm. then. You just have it in your templates. So you go over to the templates and you're like, for everything in the model, go through all that. Nice, man. Oh, this is great too. Oh, it's small. It's all I'm getting, small. I'm getting it's small is good. Uh, small is how we make progress. How inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> I basically made a merge tag called challenge points. Okay. And so I guess by default it's zero and then technically with the API, could I do that? Or is well, there a better way of doing that? You actually have an option. You can give it a default value or it can just not have a default value. Okay. Yeah, so scroll down to the merge tags. Audience, ah, yeah. Oh, I see, okay. And so this, I'm assuming this is where you added it? Yes, okay. yes, that is where I added it, yes. Yeah, so you see how we challenge points? Now there is the default merge tag value. Oh. Yeah, so you can have that set to zero or not. And then I could do like, let's say each of these challenges is worth 25 points. Yeah, just for the and then you increment it. Yeah, so, so every time, you know, you have a contact, it'll just initialize okay. with the zero. Okay, yeah. okay. I can be very easily nerd slammed and distracted, and <laughs> none of this will happen, Me too. so yes. Yeah. Okay, let's, did I, did I hear see. somebody say nerd sniped? Hi. He's, I told <laughs> Should we throw him some idea? ideas at her? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's literally what, hey, what I was if doing. You, uh, what if you made that? What, yeah, what was, yours? what was yours? I was just thinking, like, make the entire thing dynamic so, you know, oh, anyone yeah. can update it on the... <laughs> I think you could put some animations on it, maybe some hover interactivity. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's no. going to be theater of the mind. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. Three minutes shy of halfway through, and y'all are very far. Yeah. Like, you should be super proud of yourselves. This all looks amazing. You're all doing great work. If you want to, you want to. All right. I'm trying to see if this actually worked. I think, I, I think hopefully, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh, hey. That was a loud clap. <laughs> <Wasn't it? laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. I actually just, need you. I've always wanted to hear those words. <laughs> okay, so 
What I want to do, of course, is I want to send an email when I update a merge field. Okay. So I'm guessing that... When you update a merge field. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, let's figure out how to make it so, happen. So I want to do that. So I'm thinking that I need to build a journey, mm -hmm. and then that journey will trigger based upon contact update, maybe? Okay. Audience field changes. No. Now let's make sure that tag added is the same as the merge tag. The same as the merge fields? So yeah, so they call them tags and then merge tags. Audience field changes. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. There it is. So then here, ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go. Sweet, 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 sweet. Anthony. Yo. I've seen you, I've never seen you not wearing that hat. You got anything under there? I, I got nothing to hide, bro. See? Just, see? Just, it's all normal under there. You got all blurry when you... <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to basically add like, hey, they submitted four photos. I don't know if I want to get into the if four photos, 40 points, at least for now, just I like, mean, proof of concept, if submitted. If, for, for, because if it's just yeah, like, yeah. if sub it's submitted, okay, add 40 mm -hmm. points to the challenge points, right? And so you're you're setting that up with like a, like a form action handler or? That's what I don't know how to do at all. Oh, I got you. Okay. So, so that's where I'm so like, Netlify it's connected. A, or, uh, Astra has a couple ways to do it. Okay. The the most modern way uh -huh. would be to use Astro Actions. Okay. And so the way that those work is you kind of set up the the thing you want to do in a separate function, uh -huh. and then you import that and make it the form action. And it'll kind of do oh. that on the server side for you. So, so, like with your forms, they usually have an action attribute. It, mm -hmm. it would just connect it to whatever exactly. I set up with Astro. Yeah, oh, and that's, that's pretty cool. nice to work with. How's it looking over here? So, um, I've pretty much got everything plumbed through. Now it's just finishing touches and um, in CSS, which will be a pain in the butt. But uh, working through it. So yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is going better than I imagined, which scares me still because I do not have a trusting heart at all. <laughs> all right, Robbie, give me the rundown. What you doing? How's it well, going? As you can tell, this looks super, <laughs> going super great. well. Um, now the deployed one actually is okay. I hit an issue where I was pushing users in and they were supposed to be pending and they never showed up in the users list but they still counted as duplicates. So I wasted a lot of time on that error. But now we're good. I am able to push users in. I'm trying to work on when you do that unlocking cards. Nice. And that should be kind of the last thing I'll probably have time to do for yeah, now. Yeah, you so. got about 35 minutes left. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> yeah. you, feel, you feel like uh, you can get there? I hope so. We'll see. Not not 100% sure, but pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. How's it going? Good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're being cursed by internet today. Yeah. So, so far I've done a little bit more of the UI and I have integrated the merge fields like patch API. So currently I have it hard coded to update to a certain amount, but we can see at the top we have one token. And now when I complete a quest, thankfully it's letting me know that it was done. Now I can see that I have four tokens. So now I just need to add one more piece to um, make sure that if it's four, it'll go to five or whatever the correct amount of tokens gotcha. is. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got 30 minutes left to fix this last piece. How do you feel? I do, good, feel good. Good, awesome, yes. all right, I can't wait to see it. Thank you. Uh-huh, what? I don't know, it was fine, and then I removed a comma and it broke. Oh, an error, not an error. Mm -hmm. I know. What? But isn't it a beautiful error page? It is, actually, yeah, My no. I designed it. Really? Yes. I found a random like closing bracket that wasn't supposed to be there. I deleted it and that happened. Are we but sure it wasn't supposed to be there? <laughs> well, it was red. <laughs> oh, wait, I changed something earlier. I don't remember where, but I did. <laughs> Boy, okay, there we go. <laughs> Four hours goes by really fast. So, uh, I guess we all know this for sub 10 minutes. Why are you coming over here with that energy? <laughs> I, just, I just came over, Just I thought they'd already like seen we were sub 10 minutes. I hate to break the news like that, but 
Don't lie. Is it you, you came over to be helpful and they treat you like this? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Please. Basically. I'm at this point where I'm CSS hiding the next JS toast error. <laughs> 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 That's it, that's time, oh, everybody. Oh, good. 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 good job, y'all. Good job, y'all. All right, so now we're gonna jump right into the demos. And remember, if you want to get involved, you can go to this URL right here to get involved in the hackathon. It's going on right now. Same challenge, take 30 minutes to plan and four hours to build. Let's see what you come up with. And now, let's see what Jimena came up with. For my app, what I decided to do is since I've seen you're going to be at Render ATL, Black Spades, I mean, uh, and then when I was looking uh, at like the social, there's a lot of events, there's monthly meetups and games and different things like that. So what I thought could be cool is to get people to engage with the Black Spades team and community at events is to do sort of like this conference badge, event badge challenge, where at that event to encourage people to engage, they'll have some tasks that they can do, you know, and come on, follow us, you know, stop by the booth, take a selfie, submit approval, all that kind of stuff. And this would kind of build into a bigger campaign that you'd have challenge points or something like that. At every event, you get a certain amount of challenge points and maybe by that event, like for this one, if you get 40 points because it's 10 per task, you get a free t-shirt if you go back to the booth and prove that, hey, you did this, you shared to the, you know, you shared with the community and all of that. Uh, we have a simple form here uh, that once you submit it, it sends and it updates your challenge points with MailChimp. Given more time, you know, you can trigger emails that send you stuff and like, hey, you have so many points. So it kind of becomes this like loyalty program in a way, but encouraging interaction at in-person events and things like that. I was fighting with my server going the whole time, so I only got to test it for a little bit, but something that I liked, which I'd never used, I'm also using um, Astro as a framework. Thanks to Jason, I use Astro endpoints to be able to connect and let Astro handle the function for me so that I can connect with MailChimp and then, you know, push over here and add 40 points for this and it would change per event how many, you know, points we're adding. Getting some of those things to work with the API calls with MailChimp, even though I used MailChimp before, it was kind of tricky like to get it to work. Another thing which would be cool, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I just love working with Astro, so that was a lot of the fun part that made it easier for me to divide several things you know, I have my form and this is where I push that endpoint thing directly so that that form can just go ahead and work and, and send that, all that stuff to MailChimp. And I'm just proud of my little badge that has the little countdown progress bar there that updates. So, you know, it's been a while since I've done a lot of coding, so it's on the simple side, but it was fun. I like the idea. I would love to see, you know, more of that stuff. Uh, you know, how we can implement this with different events and then just kind of build up to it and all that. Great work. Anyway, sweet. Thank you. At the end, I had something to demo, but my things kept crashing and like I coded some things blind because I couldn't get my like preview up. I started out good with a plan of what I kind of wanted to do before coming in and I'm actually proud of myself for sticking with that plan. This is Culture Quest, which is an app that allows you to complete different experiences uh, shaping around culture or like the black experience. So the idea is that Black Spades really strives to connect the black community and also connect people within generations. And by doing so, we can connect with people in our own communities and uplift each other. So for instance, you may get points towards free product by doing things like downloading the Blacker app or maybe inviting somebody to play spades along with you. But it can also be taken one step further even outside of the realm of cards or um, playing spades in general. And maybe you take it and you go and visit a museum like the National um, African American History Museum in DC, or maybe you just take it local to where you actually are and you support a black owned business. Um, for instance, Just Add Honey, which is a local tea shop in Atlanta that I absolutely love. <laughs> so do, by doing so, you are able to collect legacy tokens. Um, so for instance, at the very top, we see that we have 64 legacy tokens. And on the side of each item, we can see um, how many tokens you're gonna get for going. I did the second one, which is the invite a friend to Blacker. 
Right now, we're getting an alert that tells us that our tokens have been updated, and we need to refresh the screen because that's the prime user experience, of course. <laughs> but either way, we can see that by doing so, we get 10 more points. So diving into the code a little bit, the part that I said that I was going to struggle with the most, which I did because I've never um, done it before, was setting up an API route instead inside of Astro, which is the framework that I decided to use for this project. And it was a great learning experience. So through this, what I learned is a different way if you're not using like a normal fetch call to, um, to fetch data, or in this case, to patch data to MailChimp to update the amount of tokens that we have whenever we complete a certain task. And then I guess the other thing that I can show is just the simplicity of an Astro file, which I really like. Sometimes your React files can get a little bit verbose, but I really like Tailwinds and Astro together because it is the easiest to read and it's not as wordy or verbose. So yeah. The part that I struggled the most with was getting the MailChimp API to run, but after I got it, it was like smooth sailing. So what I built, the idea was it would be like this limited edition deck that you could unlock one card at a time. Like you refer a friend is the one I have here, or like, you know, different things could unlock those cards. But like once you have them all unlocked, then you could get a free like super premium limited deck or something. The thing that I built here, you can put in an email, and I also have the magic of you have to refresh it, which is uh, <laughs> super nice. But then you get another card unlocked here. So you just work your way through as you refer people. Yeah, other things could be tied into that as well. Those, this should show up in MailChimp as another person. Yeah, so we added them there. And all the cards are stored in MailChimp as well. So there's like this huge thing of the cards you have. I had to make several different fields for that because there was a limit of 255 characters, but we got it to work. Using Netlify functions was something new that I hadn't tried before, and I think that's good for being able to do stuff on the back end for things like Ember that don't have an API route. Yeah, so everything is kind of in the index controller. We've got like referring the friends and unlocking the cards in here. Lots of fun cores stuff that I had to do everywhere. Like, it went in doubt, just put every header on all of them. <laughs> And it's all deployed on Netlify, so you can go play with it if you want and fill up all these cards. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, what I built worked at the end. It didn't do everything I wanted it to do, but the fact that it worked is makes me happy. <laughs> so uh, the uh, idea that I had is I wanted to play Black Blades. Uh, so I just wanted to play Blades and make it happen and thought that, yeah, why not during a four hour hackathon implement a whole game and tie that with MailChimp. So that's what I did because I'm crazy. Um, so you get five cards that you can work with and then um, you have the cards from the other players that are there uh, that are on the table so you can uh, pick a card and work with this. My hand isn't necessarily the best right now, so I'm just gonna do some weird stuff. I'm not saying that these are the real spades rules. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that this is a, this, this is a card game is all I'm trying to say. Okay, cool. So I was uh, actually uh, won this hand, uh, so won a trick, and then um, I'm gonna send all that data to MailChimp, and uh, as soon as you're done playing, uh, you should actually get an email in a couple of minutes or so with the discount corresponding to the number of tricks that you won. So if you won one game, you get a 10% discount. If you won three, 30%. If you get all five, you get a 50% discount, straight up and down. And if the percentage discount that's stored is not 0%, then I'll send you an email with the discount code and the link and all that stuff. So uh, I have a sample email that I generated earlier um, that just says, hey, you got a 40% discount. Uh, you can click that and then go right into the Black Space store, which should, boom, right? right there. So um, this whole thing was super interesting for me. Um, had a lot of fun trying to make this all work uh, because I'm still a React noob on Next.js. Um, most of the core is in the game file that I have here. Uh, so I have a game component and uh, this is where basically all the logic is for um, uh, choosing the three cards for the table. Where is that at? Yeah, choosing three cards for the table, um, deciding um, whether I can actually play a card or not. So I've got that logic in there in addition to logic to figure out did the player actually win uh, the hand based upon what they played. Um, and so then all that gets counted up and I have an API um, or internal API 
uh, that I use to wire that up to MailChimp. And I'm using merge fields to make that all happen. So I've got a couple of fields that represents the discount percent and uh, whether the user has played spades or not. Um, so even if they play again, they won't uh, be able to unlock that opportunity for a second time because we, we don't want to give away too much, right? This is great. This is awesome. Yeah. I can't believe you got the whole game running. I, I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did he have the game played, but he also created a journey in addition to the tags in order to send the email with the discount code. I was so impressed. He killed it. I'm surprised that I was able to get it all done and got it working and yeah, I felt, felt good about what I was able to accomplish, that's for sure. Working around people was really cool and so I really enjoyed enjoyed all of that. It was fun. It's just a fun new experience I think for me. It was it was a lot of fun. I was surprised by how fun the challenge was because I was afraid that people would see all the mistakes that I made, but it turned out to be okay because we had really great projects at the end. I struggled a lot with cores. Everything I tried to do would not go through and just uh, had to keep redeploying it and keep trying different stuff, but got there. One thing that, su that surprised me is just like hearing Mackie talking about how um, he would incorporate all of our ideas and I just I love that uh, just always trying to find the great things or, or the potential in ideas. Uh, I've, I've been familiar with the Black Spades uh, product before and it was just nice to get a kind of behind the scenes perspective from uh, from the man himself. It was pretty special today to be able to work with a local business and, and like integrate that into the challenge. We got a business and we got a tool. Let's fit those stories together and, and come up with something great. I was honestly shocked by how far everybody got. I think uh, we're gonna have to start changing the rules here because <laughs> people have figured this game out. You don't need to say which one you like the best, unless there's a real clear standout. No, that's the thing. I'm like racking my brain here. I'm like, they were all so amazing and I could never pick. They were all just A1, love them. <laughs>